Hey everyone, welcome back to Bleach Brave Souls, and woo, it's been a minute since I've done a proper character review, but we got one today, and I hope you're excited guys, because it's going to be your boy, everybody's boy, Free Renji. I took Free Renji to level 200. Why? I don't know. Just for the hell of it, because I was curious. I was curious about what he would be like at 200. So first of all, let's go over the basics, like we always do. Renji Abarai is a heart character. He's classified as a Soul Reaper. His killer is hollow. And uh, his soul trait is terrible. It's attack plus 40. Like, oh my god, that soul trait is beyond useless. All right, so that's, I mean, that's just an indication of what this character is going to be like. So let's move on to the stats. He has terrible statistics. Look at that. 556 attack. What, what, what is this? A five-star character? 449 SP. Oh my god. 449 XP, guys. Six star upgrades. He has five. They're actually okay. We got Sprinter, Long Reach, Bruiser, Havoc, and Berserker. So he's got increased range on all his attacks, and he's got increased damage on all his attacks. But, you know, with 449 XP and 500 something attack, I mean, you know, that's the, you, you do the math, it's not going to really do that much for him. Okay, so let's move on to his normal attack string. It is a four hit string. The range isn't terrible. Um, the speed is kind of slow. It's, you know, it, there's nothing really special about it. I mean, look at look at the graphics. It's really basic. It's not flashy. Um, it's just a boring string. I mean, what, what else can I say? Four hit string. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> all right, let's move on to his strong attacks. And I'm just gonna combine these all into one thing. Now looking at his strong attacks, all of his strong attacks are one hit attacks. So this is a problem, guys, because he can't break guards. I mean, he can do it, but he has to use two strong attacks to break melee guard. And, ugh, you know, I mean, in this day and age where everybody can break a guard on a single uh, single strong attack, that that is just, oh my god. Uh, it just makes this character a nightmare to play if there's a lot of enemies that have melee guard. The first strong attack, you can see it on screen now. It's just a simple slash forward. kind of got a red particle effect. Um, the range, you know, it, it, it's bad. The activation time, it's really slow. Um, it only hits one time. Yeah, you get the idea. So moving on to the second strong attack, it does have a quicker activation than the first one. And it's, uh, it's got long reach, but it's got terrible spread, if you know what I mean. So it hits in a straight line. It doesn't hit anything to the sides. Uh, so you do have to aim it precisely. Um, it's probably his best strong attack as far as usefulness goes. It's not good guys. It, I mean, I'm trying to say good things about it, but it's like, it's hard because it's just not good. Nothing is good on this character. If we take a look at the third strong attack, this, this is possibly, I'm pretty sure, I'm actually 100% sure that this is the slowest activation strong attack in the game. It takes forever, forever to come out. And sometimes that's a good thing because you know you have those enemies in the game that if you're too close, they'll dodge. Well, I mean, if they do that to you, by the time Renji's strong attack comes out, you know, they're done dodging and you can still hit them. So, I mean, it's, you know, situationally, I guess it could be useful to have a slow activation time. Uh, it does give you more invincibility as well. So, uh, it's really unique in that regard, but I don't think it's unique in a good way. So that's Renji's strong attack kit. If we look at his special, oh my god, I haven't seen this in a long time. This special, woo, takes me back. Um, there's nothing really to say about it. This is what specials used to look like back in the day. Um, you could tell, like, if you look at the more modern characters, um, they put a lot more effort in now. I, I, they just look so much nicer. Um, and what can I say about the damage? It hits one time. It does, it does terrible damage. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the actual gameplay, starting with a hybrid build. You can see the equipment I have on this character in the sidebar, so uh, if you want to take a look at what he's got on, you can see it there. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Renji is, we're in a five-star raid, and Renji does have the killer and the attribute advantage. So this is the best ideal scenario for him. As you can see, the damage. Um, he, this is a hybrid build, so keep that in mind. Uh, the, the normal attack damage, he's hitting high 2000s, uh, he's hitting kind of slowly. But the strong attack damage is actually serviceable, it's not bad. Some of his strong attacks are hitting upwards of 8000, but guys, um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> um, this damage is is uh, pretty weak for a, five star, for a 6 star character at level 200. Um, you know, you can, I, I mean, wh what can I talk about? Uh, 
the, nor the strong attack hits, they only hit one time, so if you find a guarded enemy, an en enemy who has melee guard, you're going to have to burn two strong attacks on that enemy to break his defense. Um, that third strong attack, you can see how slow it comes out. Oh my god, so slow. But, I mean, the range on it is actually not bad. It, it hits uh, pretty far. I mean, it's nothing like a full screen third strong attack from one of the new characters, but... You know, keep in mind, remember, he's the original five-star character that everybody gets, and, um, yeah, you, you do have to consider that. I mean, <laughs> why am I doing this review? All right, guys, have you seen enough? I think we've seen enough of the hybrid build. So the second build we're going to look at is the normal attack damage build, and I have pretty good equipment for a normal attack character. Full 25 Nad Links, and as you can see, even with the attribute and the killer advantage, He's only hitting for 4,000 damage. That is freaking horrible, guys. That's so bad. Oh my god. Uh, like, yeah, compared to a modern character that we have now, and, uh, you know, uh, we have characters that can hit upwards of 10k, depending on your equipment on a normal attack hit. Uh, we have the flurry characters, like uh, you have New Sajin and um, Manga, Yachiru, Retsu. Um, this damage, wow. It's freaking horrible uh, and this is the best equipment he can have so well maybe not the best I don't have gold chappies or nothing like that but uh, this is probably what you know most players can do without a lot of luck you know getting a gold chappie like I said getting gold pupples and um oof, oof. five oh there was a five thousand I just saw a five thousand um let's look at a few more hits here yeah most most of it though is in the four thousand three hundred four thousand five hundred range uh, his strong attacks, they drop down to about 3,000 per hit. Um, not really a good build for him. I mean, <laughs> whatever. There's, there's no real good builds for him, but if you were curious about what a NAD build looked like on Free Renji, uh, there it is. That last hit of the string hits. Oh, look, there was a 5,200 hit there, guys. Wow, Caleb. Wow, Caleb. <sighs> And another problem is, um, this is a stage where there's not a lot of melee guard, so it's not a problem here. But if there's a stage that has melee guard, yeah, you, you get you, it's gonna be it's gonna be a minute before you finish that stage. I'm just telling you, all right? You, it's gonna be a clear time, like I don't know, five six minutes or something. So anyway, that's the normal attack damage build. Pretty terrible, pretty terrible. All right, guys, we're almost done. Just bear with me. We are gonna look now at the final build. It's a strong attack damage build. You can see it right there. The damage is. You know, it's actually not bad for a one-hit strong attack thing. Uh, that third one almost hits for 10k. Uh, the second one, the first one's about 7. Uh, but you can see the drop in normal attack damage. His normal attack damage, he's now hitting for 1500, I guess. Um, first strong attack hits about 7. Second strong attack hits about 8,500. Um, yeah, it, it, it's actually... Well, oh, I mean, I can't tell. Third one, look, you can, you can almost crack 10,000 damage on his third strong attack. That slow ass, you know, where he waves it around in the air. Um, it's it's not bad. It, it kind of works a little bit. I mean, I think it's better than the Nad. Uh, just, I don't know, off the top of my head, it feels better than the Nad. Um, but still not good by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So let's just watch a little. We'll, we'll watch a little more gameplay. I did pre-record all this footage. So, um, I'm just commentating over it. Yeah, look at that. 8,000s. See, look at that. See, that was an example of where the enemy dodged. He dodged backwards, the big guy. And, uh, my strong attack still hit him because it's so slow. So, sometimes a slow activation speed can be an advantage. Um, but like I said, I'm just trying to find something good about this character because... <sighs> Did, I, did, did you really waste droplets and hogyokus on this character, Cowboy? Did you really do that? <laughs> yes, I did. But I did it for you guys so you could see um, what this character looks like in case you were curious. Now, I don't recommend you do this, guys. Don't do this. I just did it for the lulls. Um, my account right now is pretty much maxed out. Um, I don't have any more characters I can make 6-star. I have a ton of droplets. I've been farming with droplet quests nonstop. I have a ton of Hogyokus from friend points, and uh, just they just piled up over time. So, I had some Hogyokus and droplets to burn. And if you're in the same situation, you know why not? Do a do a fun character. Do a do a character that nobody else has done. You know, I did seaweed as well, so maybe I'll do a review on him next. But this is Free Renji, strong attack damage build. 
Uh, the damage, actually not bad. Too bad it's only single hits. Uh, you know, they should have gave this character a frenzy or something. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if that would help, but um, yeah, yeah. I mean, you do get style points for using this character. You bring this character into like a raid, a co-op mission or something, you get style points. I'm going to give it to you. All right, so that is the strong attack damage build. So overall, what are my final thoughts? Final thoughts, this character is terrible. Bottom line, I don't know what else to say about it. I tried to find good things to say, but he's not a usable character anymore. Um, you know, even if you're a brand new player, don't go with this character. You do get a free five-star ticket now um, as a new player, and you get one of the OG characters, and all those characters are better than Free Renji. I mean, they're not great characters, but you know, they're still better than Free Renji. Yeah, don't do not do this, guys. Take him to 100, take him to uh, level, 6 star level 150 for the orbs, and um, and that's it. You should probably never touch that character again. You should probably never touch this character, period. Even if you're new, if you're a veteran, you know, um, he's just not he's just not worth uh, any uh, any resources. Um, like, uh, unless you want to do him for style points, like I said, or just to troll people. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty much his only function these days. But he is... He is a uh, sentimental character for, for me personally because, you know, when I started playing this game almost, what, 700 days ago, um, I did use him quite a bit. But the game has changed so much now that he is, uh, yeah, he's not, uh, he's not something that anybody should be using. He's a collector's item, guys. Uh, a collector's item that hopefully you still kept. I mean, I know some people who got rid of him and, you know, you're not, it's fine to get rid of him if you don't care about things like that. But I'm kind of a collector myself, so I keep him around. Um, you know, I can afford a spot for the OG. He's the homie. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, I'm just, just kind of bored these days in the, in the game. So I did free Renji for you guys uh, to see what he could be like. So that is it for this video. Hopefully we'll get in a live stream tomorrow if I have time. Uh, we still got to do step six on the step up summons on the uh, Kaujita stream account. So um, look forward to that. I may do a Ambassador Seaweed level 200 review as well. Um, but we'll see. We'll see, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.